Each passenger on a transatlantic flight is responsible for the release of about one tonne of carbon dioxide. A mussel can only lock away a few grams of that, but a square kilometre of farmed mussels can capture 218 tonnes. Enough for a plane load of people flying to New York. If we turn a quarter of UK waters over to mussel farming, the shellfish would draw down about an eighth of our total emissions. What is this, pepper fucking pig? It all looks a bit CBeebies, doesn't it? Here comes Sammy the sea lion, come to tell us about global warming. Oh, what's that stuck round his neck, cutting off his circulation? It's the plastic holder from a four-pack of Strongbow. I think it needs to be a bit more, Jesus fucking Christ, this is fucking brilliant. You know, it's like science in action. Tomorrow's world. If, if it was on the telly today, you know, a bit more, yeah? If humans are to survive climate breakdown, the era of endless consumption powered by cheap oil must come to a very speedy end, and we must rebuild our societies to feed, clothe and house... Oh, sorry. It sounds like a piece of piss, doesn't it? Completely reinventing Western civilization. Well, it's not even Western, is it? It's human civilization. Um, where are we? Yes, and then to achieve net zero, we need to draw down carbon from the atmosphere, but actually, can I get a cup of tea?